Hello traders, FS Picoletti here. Today is Monday, March 4th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on gold, I'm still looking very, very bullish on gold. I still think this is a one or two, and I still think we're in a subdivision of a wave three, which actually would have this wave three going up for a very long time. My target on gold on like the monthly and weekly is actually all the way up to about the 2550 area. So going down to the weekly time frame, I still think this first push up over here is a wave one right here where it ends with the wave five of one. I still think this looks like an ABC, most likely a wave two. I still believe this is a subdivision of a wave three, like a one of three, a two of three. It definitely looks like the wave two of three is over and there's a very good likelihood that it's going up for a wave three of wave three. So keeping that information in mind, let's head down to the daily. On the daily time frame, I think we have a WXY pattern. I think it's very clearly three ways down W, three ways up X. I think it's a three-way pattern with a double zigzag for the wave B. So A, double zigzag wave B, and then down for wave Y. I think this is a subdivision one, subdivision two, and we're now in a wave three. One, two, three of wave three. And it definitely looks to me like a one, two, three right here too. So definitely, definitely looking for longs and sort of time frames. Heading down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, I am for sure looking at this move up right here as a wave 1. I think this is possibly a wave 2. I got my Fibonacci extension measuring the wave 1, projecting off the bottom of wave 2. I actually expect this to go up closer to the 161.8, so I'm not looking at this as being over yet. Now, if it does go down and break structure, then I would say that the wave 3 is over. But even if it does break structure, then most likely it needs to make a 3, a 4, and a 5 just to end this trend. So I personally think that it's going to go up to the 61.8 before we get that 4 and 5. But if it does break down, then you could possibly go sore if you are a scalper. Going down to the one hour time frame, this is the structure that I would be really paying attention to. If price does go down and break that, that would tell me that the wave 3 is over. That we're most likely in a 4. What's a wave 4 would probably look something like this. And then go back up for a wave 5. But like I said, I think there's a, probably a better possibility that this is going to keep on going up. Probably at least to that 161.8 and maybe even a little bit higher. So, I mean, for me, I would definitely be looking for longs unless it both starts it to the downside. I am definitely looking for longs at the end of pullbacks for the continuation of this uptrend. I personally think this is a big wave three on like the daily and weekly. And I think this is all just subdivisions of that wave three. And gold has been making some very, very, very nice three-way pullbacks lately. Very, very clear three-way pullbacks all over the place on gold. Even this most recent one, one, two, three waves down and golfing to the upside. Very, very clear entries to go long. So like I said, until the higher time frames tell me otherwise, I am definitely looking for longs, and I'm definitely going to continue to go long at the end of every single pullback I see for the continuation of the uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks, and happy trading.